Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to my kitchen. Every so often, I'll record something in the house and uh, hope it leads to a great discussion in the comment section. Guys, my most recent review at the time of this recording was Mercato Tomato Pies. I got a lot of questions. Uh, why is that called a tomato pie? There's cheese on it. Well, uh, if you read up on the history of uh, tomato pies, which I've been doing all night, what else to do all night? than to read up on the history of a style of pizza, right? Hey, that's what we do, baby. So, uh, according to uh, my research, the, the, the Trenton tomato pie is where the tomato pie term originated in Trenton, New Jersey, when, sorry, I'm talking with my hands, but in, in, in Trenton, New Jersey, when Neapolitan immigrants settled there and opened up three places, Papa's, De Lorenzo's, and Joe's tomato pies. And uh, they were made. They were made with cheese. In New Haven. They were made with uh, uh, hard cheese, grated cheese. And in Trenton, they were made with mozzarella on it, but very light application of mozzarella. That was the case in my with my recent pizza review of uh, pizza over at Mercato in Newark, New Jersey. Mercato tomato pies. Now. Uh, that style with the with the light amount of mozzarella actually came from Lombardi's and Frank Pepe's. If you look at old photos of uh, Frank Pepe or old historic photos of Lombardi's, the pizza was made with just small patches of mozzarella, mostly tomato, and uh, uh, when when that spread into New Jersey. They, they just called them tomato pies because the pizzas were basically dominated by the tomato sauce. And up on, up until this day, guys, you look at uh, Lombardi's today, you look at the Frank Pepe's margarita today, light applications of cheese. And so this place in Newark that I visited recently, which uh, I really loved, I'm really, I stand by my score, Mercato tomato pies, they're a homage to that, the old tomato pies and, and Lombardi's and, and and even the New Haven uh, style at Frank Pepe's, which they still serve today. If you order the margarita at Pepe's, you're going to get small patches of mozzarella. And uh, I like that because it makes the pizza light. Uh, what I don't like is when you get, uh, when they dabble the tomato sauce in spots and you're getting just cheese. No, I'm a sauce person. And I think the, the value of ingredients in a pizza starts with the crust foundation of every pizza is its foundation and then I, I look at the tomato sauce very important and then I look at the cheese last if the cheese is okay on a pizza I won't dock as many points uh, if I were to find a pizza with bad tomato sauce and good cheese when I did the review I uh, I did say I was going to dock points because of the cheese distribution but but I wasn't knocking the style I actually love that style of pizza I think Lombardi's does it right uh, if you see the way they, they splotch that cheese on, I think it's done very well. Guys, I really I highly recommend going to Mercato Tomato Pies. The whole place cheese. made to look like old Lombardi's, old uh, Frank Pepe's, uh, the old, just the old pizzerias, in, you know, in Jersey, all those coal-fired places, traditional coal-fired American pizza. Oh. Uh, you want to say New York style because it started here, but uh, so guys, what do you think? Do you like that old school style of pizza? I think you have to respect it, man. That's the way pizza started out here in, in this country. And uh, keep in mind that it's also a healthier way to get your pizza fix on, less mozzarella. But uh, you know, if I were to boil it down to one thing, I think the term tomato pie is a marketing tool more than anything. It's a marketing tool as opposed to a, a culinary guide to making a style of pizza. Uh, th there's different types of tomato pies out there. Some have mozzarella, some don't. And uh, I appreciate and respect them because they are the OGs of pizza. At least not, not in Italy, but at least here in America. And even the pizzas in Italy, if you look at them, if you look at the, the, the Neapolitans out there, guys, cheese is you know splotched on it so is there a difference between a tomato pie and a pizza no no uh, unless you're ordering the ones at Sally's or uh, 
And they make them out here. There's one on Staten Island, Pizzeria Jove makes it. A nice tomato pie, just tomato and herbs. Santello makes one. Uh, so in a sense, there is a difference because there's no mozzarella on them. A lot of them are made with the grated cheese, of course, but uh, uh, Trenton natives are going to defend their regional style as an entity in itself. And so until next time, keep those bellies full, folks. This is Antonio signing off.